Hi, I'm Tom Summers with the Dyna Realty. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'd like to try and answer the question for you buyers out there. How do I find houses that are for sale that are actually foreclosed? This is kind of a tough question to answer because there's so many different variables, but I'll do my best. The reason I'm making this video actually is I was sitting in a coffee shop a couple of nights ago waiting for some clients to show up and sign off on some documents for a house they're purchasing. And a gentleman walked up to me and said, are you a real estate agent? Because he had seen my folder and all my paperwork and I said, yes I am. And he said, well, I've got a question for you. I'm moving back to the Twin Cities area and I'm looking for a real estate agent, but also I'm trying to find houses that are foreclosed in the areas I want to live and I'm having a really hard time. And I said, well, why would that be? And he said, well, it seems like so many of the um, different websites that I'm going to just don't have the correct information, which is totally understandable and I hear this a lot. So I'm going to try and make sense of this whole thing. The first thing I'd like you to do is please go to www dot realtimehomesearch.com. It's one of the quickest, most comprehensive, up-to-date, fastest websites that is available right now on the internet to search houses for sale. The documentation is purged daily, so you will only be looking at houses that are actually for sale. You won't be looking at homes that are sold. That's part of the problem. A lot of these larger companies, what they do is they list all of these houses and then they don't purge any of their documentation for 30, sometimes 45 days. And what happens is it puts them up higher in the search rankings because it looks like they have more houses for sale to offer than any other company, when in reality, a lot of the information they have on their websites are, is bogus. So start there. Secondly, I'm going to show you this slide. And as you can see, there are three different sections here that I have to answer as a listing agent. The first one says in foreclosure. Now on all three of these, I have to say yes, no, or not disclosed. The only time it should say in foreclosure and it should say yes next to it is if the house is for sale and it's had a share of sale. So now it's truly in foreclosure and headed to the full foreclosure process. It can still be a short sale at that point, but it's in foreclosure and not foreclosed on. The second would be lender owned. Most of the fully foreclosed homes will be marked this way, but there are some lenders who require their listing agents to mark no on all of these because they don't want people to know that the house is foreclosed. I know this sounds ridiculous and I think it is, but the listing agent has to follow what the bank wants to do. I think in a lot of situations the bank is asking you or the listing agent not to uh, mark this as yes because they don't want to hurt the values of the other homes in the neighborhood because they could very well have a reasonable percentage of those homeowners uh, with them for home loans. And then thirdly is potential short sale. This would be marked yes before the share of sale has happened. So it could possibly be a short sale if the price isn't up high enough. So when you're looking for fully foreclosed homes, the only ones that are going to actually show up as foreclosed are ones that say lender owned. Anything else, whether it's in foreclosure or potential short sale, all of that is part of the foreclosure process and the homes are typically available for sale as a short sale, but they are not foreclosed. So a lot of the search engines you'll see lump all of this together in one big pile because there are technically in foreclosure or foreclosed. So when you're looking for specific foreclosed homes, you have to look for lender-owned homes only. Now lender-owned has a lot of different terms, REO property, bank-owned, lender-owned, company-owned, and corporate-owned. But typically none of those will show up on the MLS unless the agent who has listed the house has put them in either the public or agent remarks. So the best rule of thumb is always look for homes that are marked lender-owned. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to give me a call or email me at the uh, number below on your screen. Thanks so much, and I hope this helps. Have a great day.